The base of a solid is the region in the first quadrant enclosed by the parabola y equals 4x squared, the line x equals 1, and the x-axis. Each plane section of the solid perpendicular to the x-axis is a square. The volume of the solid is blah. Okay, well here is quadrant 1 right here. Here is one half of y equals 4x squared because we're only looking in quadrant 1. And let's make x equals 1 somewhere around here. We're looking at this region inside of here that's almost triangle-like but quadratic on the side. And we're going to create square cross-sections that are perpendicular to the x-axis. So imagine that we have one cross-section uh, right here. And here is it coming out of the, of the board. And here's our cross-section. Now, the side of our cross-section is the same as the height of our cross-section. So here, we are taking the integral from 0 until 1 of the area of these cross-sections. Now, the area of a square is side squared. And of course, the side of this square is just the function value at x. So here, this is our side, which is 4x squared. And of course, the uh, area of a square is side squared, so this is squared dx. And this is the integral that we are setting up to find the volume of this solid. It is the integral from 0 to 1 of the area of our cross sections and each of our cross sections the side is just the function value 4x squared squared because it's side squared. Now this is the integral from 0 to 1 of 16x to the fourth dx. The antiderivative of 16x to the fourth is 16 over 5x to the fifth from 0 to 1. And of course we can now plug in 1 and 0. So this is 16 over 5 times uh, 1 to the 5th minus 0. So this is just 16 over 5. Units cubed, whatever our units are here. And this is the volume of the solid created when we create uh, squares that are perpendicular to the x-axis within this region. In the figure above, R is the shaded region in the first quadrant bounded by y equals 4 times the natural log of 3 minus x, the horizontal line y equals 6, and the vertical line y equals 2. The region R is the base of a solid. For this solid, each cross-section perpendicular to the x-axis is a square. Find the volume of the solid. Well, let's construct our cross-section just so we can kind of visualize what's going on here. So from 6 down to y, we have the side of our square. And our square is coming out of the board like this. All right. Now, we can take the integral from 0 to 2 because our cross sections are perpendicular to the x-axis here. So let's set up our integral, 0 to 2. Now we're taking the integral of the areas of each of these cross sections in R. These cross sections are squares and the area of a square is side squared. But what is the side of this square. Well, the side of this square is 6, because that's our upper function, minus our lower function, which is 4 times the natural log of 3 minus x. This is the side of our square. And of course, that means that the area of our square is side squared. And so this is the integral that we have set up in order to be able to find the volume of this particular solid. And the area where the volume is 26.266. This one will be much easier to do 
on a graphing calculator or on Wolfram Alpha uh, than to just do it in your head. Oh yeah. Let R be the region bounded by the y-axis, the graphs of y equals x cubed over 1 plus x squared and y equals 4 minus 2x. The region R is the base of a solid and for this solid each cross-section perpendicular to the x-axis is going to be a square. Find the volume of this solid. Well we're taking the integral from the y-axis which is x equals 0 since our cross-sections are perpendicular to the x-axis so from x equals 0 up until this point of intersection which is right here. So first we have to find the point of intersection. Well how can we do this? By setting our two functions equal to each other. So we'll set 4 minus 2x equal to x cubed over 1 plus x squared. Now this is on the calculator section of the AP Calculus AB exam and so we can use a calculator for this. To do that we'll set the set of the left hand side equal to 0 so here we have x cubed over 1 plus x squared plus 2x minus 4. We can put this into y1 and then see where it crosses the x-axis on a TI calculator. We can then find the zero by going to the math function and the zeros and you can do it that way. But what you get is x is equal to 1.488. So right here this is x is equal to 1.488 and so we're taking the integral from 0 to 1.488 since that is the right bound of R. Now in our integrand we're going to have the area of each of these cross sections. These cross sections are going to be squares. So let's find out exactly what these squares are going to look like. The side is going to go from 4 minus 2x down to x cubed over 1 plus x squared and these squares are protruding from the board uh, like this. Now, side squared. The side here is 4 minus 2x minus the lower function which is x cubed over 1 plus x squared. So the length of this side is our upper function minus the lower function. And of course the area of a square is side squared. And so this right here is the setup for our integral, for the volume of this particular solid. Now we can solve this also on a calculator and we get 9.434 units cubed.